Minecraft. Exclusive. It certainly does feel exclusive since I'm still in 1.8.1. I'm recording this on Saturday the 24th, and meanwhile the 1.9 pre-release is already out, and so I expect by the time this video airs, possibly even like a week from now, that everyone will have 1.9 videos, and so a 1.8.1 video will feel like exclusive coverage from Brian and Minecraft Exploration and Tactics. In today's episode, we are going to find a stronghold. And we will also play around with the new growing mushrooms thing. And I say new, new in 1.8. I have no idea when this video is going to air. I have so much video that I haven't uploaded to YouTube yet. In any case, strongholds ahead. Let's go ahead and get started. Good morning. It is Saturday the 24th for Brian. And what I want to do now is do some experiments with the mushrooms. Since that's one of the 1.8 features I still have not taken advantage of. And so, with both red mushrooms and brown mushrooms, I'll show off in a moment, you can hit them with bone meal, and they turn into giant mushrooms like this! And then you can kind of go and re-harvest them, and like as you harvest these blocks, you end up getting more mushrooms. And so that's much more efficient than a mushroom farm if you want to create a bunch of mushrooms from one. And furthermore, what did I do? I thought I had a brown mushroom room in my inventory, but now I do not see it. Did I drop it somewhere? I was just getting inventory out of the house. See if I accidentally left it in here. So you can do the same thing with the brown mushroom. Here it is. Hello, hiding mushroom. You thought you could get away from me, but I was too smart for you. That's right. Brian is capable of outsmarting a fungi in Minecraft. And so the brown mushrooms grow tall like this. And so it seems to me that a brown mushroom actually might be an interesting way if you want to build kind of like a sky bedroom kind of thing, just to put together a platform like that. Although it tends to be the case that I often make much larger platforms than you need if you're just trying to build a sky bedroom on the fly. And the red mushrooms, similarly, if you kind of uh, put the dirt down in a hole, kind of you can just turn this into a little house and then like put the bone meal on it and have all these kind of be little walls around you. But in any case, they look really cool. And I guess in 1.9, there's actually going to be mushroom biomes where these things grow naturally. I'm not really sure. I've been trying really hard not to look ahead at any of the 1.9 stuff, but it is getting tough because it means now I can't even go and watch Etho's videos because he has a video up this morning about like snow golems or something. And I don't want to learn what they are and what they do. And it's really hard. I know, first world problems. I'm trying to avoid watching other people's fun videos for a week until the real thing comes out. But that's where we are. Okay, so in any case, I kind of briefly have showed off what is new and cool with the mushrooms. And now the other thing that I really want to do while I'm still in 1.8 is go to the stronghold. And I looked very carefully at the Cartograph G map, and it seems to be right under here is where the stronghold is. And so, and I'm going to have to dig down about 20 blocks. And so my plan is basically just to start digging a staircase down around here. And so this will take me a moment, and so I'm going to go ahead and start digging, and I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, and sure enough, I finally got the mapping correct, because I see the new stone blocks. Oh, and there is a nice little cave noise, some ambiance. All right, and so I believe, oh, and there's a mossy and a cracked stone block. So there's all these different new stone blocks, and I think possibly they're all craftable. And so I also probably want to play around with that, but I might just go ahead and harvest some of them. But they look pretty cool. And yeah, rather than... Oh, and they're hard to... They're pretty powerful blocks there to try to carve through. And I can't tell how far down it is, but let's just go... Hey. Dunk! Take some fall damage, and we... Oh, and it's lit up already. There's some... And there's doors, and there's all kinds of... Oh, my goodness. Iron bars. And iron doors. And it's a zombie jail! Is there a way to get in there? What's going on over here? Oh, yeah, there's a door. Hello. Interesting. And so apparently there were prisoners that were left in the jails in the stronghold at some point in the... That's an interesting place to put a door, don't you think? Yes, the architecture that the previous inhabitants of this world had, both in terms of... Wow, there's a button? That is crazy. I'm kind of worried that there might be, like, traps or something in here. I don't know what to expect. And... Wow. 
craziness. In any case, apparently they left some people in jail, and those people mutated into zombies over the hundreds of years as the rest of the population died out. And so now that's what we're left with here in Minecraft. And wow, this is a pretty big kind of structure and area, and there's crazy steps, and how do I get down here? I carve my way out again, or is there another kind of door? I guess I'll go over here and see what happens. And these, yeah, these bricks are really strong. I actually might start doing some building with them. So yeah, you've got the mossy version, you've got the normal version, you've got the cracked version. And so maybe these are made from cobblestone and mossy, mossy cobblestone and smooth stone, I think. At some point I did see a video where someone was showing off the craft, crafting recipes for those guys. But I didn't pay... Oh, wow! Well, here comes a zombie. And there might be other bad guys afoot. But here we have bookshelves and spider webs. This is pretty cool. The abandoned libraries, all of the knowledge of the ancients is probably stored in this library. Imagine what I could learn if I could only figure out how to take any of the books off the shelves and read them. That would be pretty cool, actually, in Minecraft, if, just like you can write on signs, it'd be cool if they had some kind of way... Oh, and that's a clever way to have a chandelier, using kind of fence posts. I like that. If I were more of a builder, I would do that inside of one of my houses. But since my houses tend to just be hollowed-out caves, with no furniture or anything, that's probably unlikely to happen for Brian. Anyway, I saw a ladder over here, and so I wonder where this goes. Oh, neat! There's like a second floor to the library. But there doesn't seem to be anything else other than just more books. But yes, it appears that the ancients were very well read. And I like this music, and so I'll just kind of let it play. It's good music for exploring as we continue to walk around the stronghold and see what we find. Looks like that might exit back out into the normal caves. I hear zombies somewhere. Perhaps he's in here. Ooh, it's a staircase. And I appear to be at the top. I'm down to one torch. How about I take a moment, now that I actually have plenty of wood resources, to create another full stack of torches. And one left over. Neat. Yeah, I don't know what Notch had to do in terms of kind of biome and structure code in order to be able to create these kind of big structures with lots of architecture, uh, like the stronghold is right here. But yeah, it fits together pretty nicely and seamlessly. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's anything down here. But I'm sure the code to have terrain generation on this scale with these kind of structures without just hard coding a bunch of stuff took a bit of cleverness. All right, and is this... Did I come from this way? I'm already losing track. I didn't think I'd been over here yet. Hold on. Ah. Who designs... Oh, I'm gonna... If there isn't a button on the other side, get stuck. Here's another stairway down. All right, let's see where this goes. I think I'm coming down into some zombies somewhere. Okay, this just exits out into a cave system? No! Oh my goodness! It's another piece of the stronghold. Oh, this is really cool. I'm enjoying this. And so, more iron bars. Which, I'm not even sure I know how to construct. Alright, and then we're kind of back in the cave system. And so it's definitely the case that caves can and do just intersect with the stronghold. So I think I'm going to go back into the stronghold and continue to explore over there. And yeah, I definitely hear some bad guys over here somewhere. Oh, a fountain! And a zombie in the fountain. Hello, happy zombie. Are you enjoying your swim? It looks like a lot of fun. Yep. All right. One zombie down. Let's see, there's an open door here, and so how about I check out over here first? Oh my goodness. Where is he? There he is. 
Ah, I see the spider above me, too. There's a spider, like, right above me over here. There he is. Can I reach him? Yes! Oh, awesome. Alright, I did not see where Skeleton is now. I'm... Oop, there he is. Wow, this stronghold's pretty massive. Like, it's been on multiple kind of levels and floors, and it's kind of inter intersecting with the surrounding cave system. This is pretty neat. I don't know if there's any kind of... Uh... Ooh, look at this. Oh, crazy... Does this go anywhere? Stairway down into... Wow, there's so much to explore. So unfortunately, once again, since I'm kind of completely doing this haphazardly, I don't know when I'm going to discover that I've just explored everything, because I'm just kind of lighting things up at random, and there's already torches in here. I should... Yeah, I haven't been to the nether yet in this particular world. It would be good to bring, like, nether rack or some other distinctive block, and maybe just drop off nether rack kind of everywhere uh, to know where you've been versus where you haven't been. Or something like that. I might have other blocks in my inventory that I could use. Just kind of for distinction. Okay, and so down here... This seems to be just going back into a cave system. Okay. So let me climb back up into the stronghold over here. Yeah. But... Alright, that was where I just was. Yeah, the strongholds are pretty cool. I like the look of them. I like the fact that there are... <laughs> doors that you'll hit the button and they might shut behind you and you're not sure what to expect. I like the fact that there seem to be kind of, oops, pr prison cells that may contain zombies or creepers or whatnot. I like the new blocks. All in all, it is another 1.8 feature that I really enjoy. Oh, and I like the fact that just strongholds are rare. And so, obviously, as I mentioned a couple episodes ago, I basically cheated in order to find this one. I used a tool called Cartograph G, which lets you map space in your world and filter out just to see certain block types. And so I looked around for the iron doors in order to figure out where this was going to be on the map. And the only reason I did that is so that I could go ahead and find it now, because this video will probably be posted after 1.9 has already been released. And I don't want to look ahead at 1.9 features, and so I want to take advantage of everything that's in 1.8 while I'm still playing 1.8 this weekend. And, ooh, it's like another one of these jail cell kind of things. And I guess, oh, that's another thing I should try, is like, just harvesting these iron bars. I presume that they are blocks that you can harvest like anything else. I hear footsteps and nothing else. And so I expect there's a creeper somewhere, but I don't know where. And so yes, iron bars are also very strong blocks, it appears. I guess there's a possibility that I am harvesting them with the wrong tool. Oh. And apparently... My inventory is full. I'm going to... throw away... rotten flesh! So that I can pick up some iron bars. And yeah, just like the glass panes, they have this interesting way that they kind of connect to walls and other blocks around them. And it seems like, yeah, given their kind of collision mask and size, just like the glass panes, Etho obviously was already building kind of a new Eats Road. Oh, this is a different fountain, because the fountain I was just at didn't have this lava flow, I don't believe. And so, yes, there's a lot to explore down here. In any case... It seems like both the iron bars and the new glass panes create some new possibilities for creating new types of devices. Just kind of by virtue of their shape, their shape is kind of something that's new in Minecraft, and so Etho was making a new Eats Road design that was taking advantage of that. And let's put out some sandstone. I've already gone through a full stack of torches again? That is crazy. I need to start mining some coal. All right, I'm going to try to be a little bit more... Oh, hello, creeper. Anyone else in here? There is another... Wow.
All right, this seems to be a dead end. All right. Another ladder, as I was starting to say. Oh, and another one of these. And this one also goes nowhere. All right, I definitely need some more torches. One moment. And yes, I guess one of the negatives or downsides of exploring the stronghold is since I'm not in a cave system, I'm not finding exposed coal. And so far, I haven't found... I don't know if there's supposed to be any chests in a stronghold. It seems like it would be kind of cool. It seems like if you had this kind of big building that was kind of, I don't know, a prison and guarding stuff, it seems like somewhere that they would have a chest full of something. I don't know what. Aha! <laughs> Speak of the devil, that is timing. Coal! Just what I needed. And some iron. So that was actually kind of a little eh in terms of a chest, but since I do need the coal, and I was just talking about the fact that I can't find coal in a stronghold, and now I just did, I'm not going to complain. Brian asks and Minecraft gives. Let's see. All right, so... This is interesting to me. Are these wooden blocks, or are they wooden planks? Or seems like they're wooden blocks, but the lava has not caught them on fire. Yeah, who ever really understands how lava works at all in this game? Not me, that's for sure. Let's see. Can I have all the sand? I'm just trying to see if I can do do do. It's always danger that I'm going to get myself caught in this. Okay. All right, and lava takes a while to evaporate. That's okay. Ooh, I need to eat some food. Let me, since I accidentally moved this out of my hotbar. Um, nom, 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 nom. And I'm not sure that I have enough food. I have so much food on my person. I'll just go ahead and eat another pork chop so that I can start regaining health. And then, is that just more cave system up there? I guess it's just more cave system up there, so I don't really need to go exploring in that direction. I'm just going to see if I can put out some of this lava. Like so. Oh, is it flowing out of another location over here, perhaps? I think there might have been another lava flow source block over there. Maybe. Possibly. Or maybe lava is just infinite. That is crazy. Okay, there it's the lava's finally gone out. All right, great. I see more darkness over here. Huh. Wee. All right, at this point, I'm kind of walking around haphazardly, and so I think I will edit a little bit out until I find something else that is worthy of showing you all, at which point I will bring you back in. You guys know the drill. Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh! It is a silverfish. Is he attacking me? Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Like, I just killed him, and then, like, another one popped out of the wall over here or something. Uh. That was kind of scary. I. I don't know that I like that. And that was just when I just tried to mine one of these bricks. I'm actually going to try that again in a moment. All right, let's try this again. My pick is about to run out, but if I just go and mine this brick... Okay, well, nothing came out of here. So I know that a silverfish is a new mob, and I know that it sometimes pops out of bricks that you mine. But apart from that, I don't really know how it works. But it seemed like when I killed the one that was kind of standing at my feet over here, then all of a sudden another one just like popped out of a different brick over here. And I thought I'd mined one of these types of bricks. I'm not exactly sure 
which brick was there, or I don't remember. He'd go back and review the video. Oops, there's another one. Okay, neat. Okay, and then I hit one, and another one popped out of a brick. Wow! Except, I don't know why they're not... Are they supposed to be hurting me? Do they do damage? It doesn't seem like they're doing any damage. Oops. Except they are gonna, like... Alright, and so can I just kill them with my... Is there still one down here? Yeah. And... Have I dealt with all of them at this point? And I'm not sure if that was them making... Okay, yeah, and one popped out of a brick over here. No, I guess there actually is a spider somewhere else. I was wondering if the silverfish possibly make spider noises. Okay, I had forgotten all about silverfish, and it seems like possibly that if they just start popping out of bricks all of a sudden, kind of everywhere, especially if you were under attack by something else, that that would be crazy to all of a sudden have a bunch of silverfish just kind of popping out of the walls at you. And so, that is pretty interesting. And now, yeah, I'm covering features of Minecraft Beta 1.8 that I had completely forgotten I even needed to cover. Is there more up there that I haven't been to? I'm not sure. Let's take a look, shall we? Do 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 do. Another staircase up the wall. My diamond pick is just about to run out. But never fear, because I have another one in reserve. Because, like a Boy Scout, Brian is always prepared. Before I go on a spelunking mission, there's the zombie I keep hearing. Hello, Mr. Zombie. Where did you come from? Actually, where did you come from? I have a lot of this lit up at this point. Can I reach you? Nope, I'll just fall. Ha-ha! With a critical hit upon the fall. Alright, so, have I been all the way down? Oh, crap, there's a skeleton. Ah! Ah! Alright, kind of made a mess of that. So... I don't have this especially well torchlit. It's possible that enemies just spawned right over in this area, I think. And so perhaps that's where our friend Mr. Zombie came from. Our friends, Mr. Zombie and Mr. Skeleton. Okay, and so now this is an area that I've been to before. Oh, nope, nope. Sorry, I lied. This is a different fountain. Because this is unlit. And so here is yet another staircase that leads to who knows where. Gosh, the stronghold is really... I was about to use the word massive, which I think is not the best or use of that word, since it's kind of the opposite. It's kind of like this huge, hollowed-out structure. What's a good word for... large? <laughs> um, yeah, the stronghold is big. It's pretty cool. I'm enjoying exploring it. And, but at the same time, I have no idea at this point when I'm going to be finished with it. And I also don't know how much video I've already taken. So it's possible at this point I might go ahead and cut off the video and call this one a day. Since we seem to have explored most of what's in the stronghold. We've seen fountains, we've seen kind of prison structures, we've seen silverfish coming out of the walls, we've seen it being connected to cave systems, we've seen, oops, zombies and skeletons and other kind of bad guys spawning. Ha! <laughs> That's pretty amusing. The decay of time has definitely worn down bits of this structure. Yeah, and I'm not sure, and yeah, chests full of coal and iron and different things, and I'm not sure if there's anything else that I should be trying to find uh, in the stronghold at this point anyway. And I might explore a little, around a little bit more, but unless there's anything too interesting, I'll probably... Make this the end of the video, and then at this point, possibly, now that I've artificially gone and found the stronghold, we may have found kind of all of the major new things in 1.8. I'm still, I'm sure there's still some things that I haven't done yet. Uh, pumpkin seeds, I think we decided didn't exist yet. I think there was a bug that you got melon seeds sometimes in chests, but you never got pumpkin seeds in chests. And so I'm not sure if there's any content that I've still left out in my 1.8 videos. But yes, now I have to do the interminable wait for 1.9 to come out, and I can't even watch other people's 1.9 videos because I want it to all be a surprise. <sighs> so I don't know if I'll play any more Minecraft this weekend. We'll see. In any case, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time on Minecraft Exploration and Tactics.